really pretty simple for our, our student athletes, but we uh, ask them to focus on there are three areas uh, that are really important to us. First of all is their citizenship, you know, how they conduct themselves, uh, uh, not only in our environment, but more importantly, what they do when they leave our building. Uh, that, that's certainly important. I think that may be the most important thing any of us do. Secondly is their academic uh, uh, life. And when you go to college, you know, football is uh, very prominent, at least at our place, we get great coverage. And played a tremendous conference, we've had some great stories. But at the end of the day, the most important, significant accomplishment any of our, our, our players uh, achieve is to earn a degree. You know, we will, you know, as good as a uh, player as Dallas Carter may be, was, is, currently, etc. cetera, you know, he won't be playing when he's 40 years old, I know that. But Dallas came back several years ago. He didn't finish his degree, he left school early, go to the National Football League, came back and got his degree. And that's something he'll have uh, his entire life. No injury will take that away, no uh, career ending, you know, just uh, things that happen, retirement, those things. So that, that's extremely important. And then the third area of focus, quite obviously, for our guys would be what they're doing in athletics. And those are the three things that we ask our guys to keep paramount in their thoughts. Um, and, and I just uh, uh, met a young, or not a young man, a man who uh, from this time is very, very successful, Henry Tippett. Uh, I'm sure most of you know the story, Mr. Phelps, is that something you guys cover? But stop the logs, I'll tell you, what a fascinating gentleman. Yeah, a great, great town. A guy that grew up on a farm and uh, ended up serving in World War uh, II, went off in the service, went to the University of Iowa uh, on the GI Bill, and, uh, and then really kind of stuck his neck on and took a shot. Uh, as an accountant with, with a job out in Delaware. Got on a bus, took the bus out to uh, uh, Delaware, ended up taking a job in a very young company and it grew into a great, great uh, uh, company. And you know, he's had tremendous success. But you know, I think he's a great story. If you look around in life, there are an awful lot of great stories. But again, it gets back to people you know, really doing their homework, being fundamentally sound, and then maybe taking a chance and going out and uh, achieving some, some great, great things. And that, that's a neat thing. Wow. Uh, it, it's, it's players that you know, not only have a positive attitude, they have a strong work ethic, but they have a team-first attitude. And I think that's one of the beauties of sports, and, and maybe one of the things I worry about in society, you know, we we're breaking down a little bit, but having that team-first attitude, all that means to me is, you know, you come into the building or you come into whatever group it is that you, uh, you're with, and, and your primary concern is about the welfare of the entire group. You, know, you take time to think about how your actions affect other people and the group, uh, you know, what's your thoughts, what's your actions, what you, what you say, how, how those things all affect and impact others. And then I think maybe just as important as that, and you come in with an attitude of how can I help? How can I help this group move forward towards our goals? And, and to me, that, that, that's something that all of us can carry in life. I think we need to carry in life. And, uh, you know, the last thing I would say on that topic, you know, small things can impact people in big ways. And don't ever lose sight of that NFL, and then that's something, you know, some of you, at least if you follow football, you're probably aware of. But we've had so many other great stories, too. You know, guys that have done very, very well. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Bell Blaine, native, Kyle Spade, who uh, recently was on our football team. You know, never, never started a football game for us, but he was on the team his entire career, did a great job. And, and the, uh, the attitude that I described earlier about you know, being a leader, being a positive guy, a guy that worked hard and cared about others, how fit that bill. So, you know, our, our famous players, quote unquote famous players, the guys that have gone on and done extremely well in football, and that's great. Uh, we've got two guys right now finish, finishing up their residence at the University of Iowa at med school, you know, fantastic. But we, we've had a lot of guys come in that have just uh, really helped make our team a good team, and, and a guy like Kyle is uh, certainly in that category. So, you, you know, it's, it's like teaching, I guess, you know, just there's so many good stories with so many individuals, and that's in front of them all.